Hey everybody, it's Matthew here. It's been a while since I posted a tip for you guys, but I found this awesome tip plugin for Lightroom to be used with, you guessed it, Instagram. Can you believe that? You can now post from your Lightroom directly to Instagram. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. All right, so guys, as you pull up your, you know, your pictures and everything, there are the ones that you're gonna to want to upload to your Instagram. And usually what you have to do is you're going to have to download it and then export it to iCloud or Google Dropbox, whatever it is that you use. It's just a very um, timely process. If you're using Apple, you can do AirDrop and all this stuff, but I found a way that you can instantly do it right from Lightroom, right into your uh, Instagram account. So first thing you wanna do is you're going to have to download the Lightroom Instagram plugin. So you go to lrinstagram.com and then when you scroll down, it will show you kind of the new features that they have. You can actually do hashtags right directly from the program, which is awesome. You can go ahead and download it, the free version. Um, after you download it, if you want to pay, you can pay. It's uh, $9.99, $10. It's really nothing, but it's awesome. I downloaded it, and it's super, super uh, easy to use. So let me show you what happens. Once you download it, you're going to have to go here to File. Then you're going to have to go to Plugin Manager. And then you're going to have to install it. So you're going to click Add, find your folder where you zip file, where you found it from. You're going to have to go to Add, and then find where you saved it in your hard drive after you downloaded it. And then you're going to um, go ahead and add that in. Once that's done, it's going to pop up down here. And then from your Lightroom catalog, this is where everything is. Where this is where all the magic happens. So under Instagram account, you're gonna have, there's a sign in, I've already signed in here, but basically you're gonna log in from here. Now, one thing I will note that you have to make sure you do is uh, shut off two-step verification on your Instagram, otherwise this will not work. So make sure you do that first. Now, once you've signed in, here are, you can upload five images at once if you'd like. Um, here's the force padding for square size, so it actually gives you the white border on the side or the black border, depends on what you want. What I like to do is actually force crop to Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and that will automatically um, allow the force crop. Now on here under sharpen, um, I just put screen uh, and then for watermark, you can put your watermark that's on here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, before I say I want to export this, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to slide it over into the Instagram. So I'm taking my picture, I'm sliding into the Instagram. And now when I click, this is the the image that's here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to to develop module here and I'm going to I've already cropped this in a four by three as you can see uh, four by five format and then I made it basically um, more vertical so it fits the full page on the Instagram and once this is done um, I go through all my settings make sure you know everything that you want to do and touch up and you're gonna go ahead and send that out now this one's already been touched up so there's not much that I have to do but I will go ahead and just do some little adjustments here and there. All right, and I'm done with that. Now, what you're gonna wanna do here is go back to library and under your settings, so I'm gonna go to file. And I'm gonna show you the export settings here. Um, under my export settings, I have a preset that's already done. So it's called Instagram 5x7 crop. Now, what I suggest you do is you find a folder where you're gonna put that in. You put your 5x7 crops. Uh, actually, sorry, it's four by five. Let me change that. Okay, so the aspect ratio is actually four by five. And then from there, you're going to put it in whatever folder, call it whatever you want. So in this case, it's gonna be bathroom vanity. All right. Now, because you're using it uh, for Instagram, I find that the quality compression that Instagram basically allows you, um, you can set this to 76, which is more than enough. And then under resizing, you wanna go short edge 1080 pixel wide. So you're forcing it to go to 1080 pixel wide. And the resolution, again, because it's only for the internet, um, it's gonna be 72 DPI, which is which is fine. Um, if you're not using it for print, then this is more than enough. So, And then I do my screen resolution. So those are my export settings. I'm gonna close that. So now I'm ready. I wanna post this to Instagram. Now what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna pull up my Instagram account. Give me one second. Okay, so under posts, there it is. All right, guys, so this is where on your right-hand side, you're going to put in the caption, what it is that you wanna show up on your Instagram. So I'm gonna type in here. All right, done. Now, 
under hashtags, this is where you can go ahead and go into your hashtags. Now I already have something saved, so let me go ahead and pull this up. And there we go, we got all of our hashtags that are in there. And this thing's ready to publish. So all you gotta do is uh, go ahead and click on publish. And there it goes. And you can right click and go show an Instagram. And just give it a second. As you can see, it's still updating published. And we're gonna go ahead and refresh. And boom, there it is. It just got posted onto Instagram and it's live and ready to go and it's full size, which is awesome. Got my watermark on there. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to upload your images from your Lightroom directly into Instagram. Super easy, super convenient. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to always leave the comments down below. And always, and as always, go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you on the next one. Peace guys. <laughs>